gonna give you guys a little spin, a little twirl, a little hey from the girl. Hey girlies, welcome back to the channel you guys. Today I'm going to be installing a unit that I received from XRS. This is my second time installing this unit, so I wanted to refilm this install with my new background. It's getting very much so dry in that video, so I wanted to show you guys, you know, quality all the way around. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you guys this install with XRS Beauty's Clear Lace Frontal Unit, which is basically a new lace that's out there that gives super nice, realistic quality. It's almost like the cousin of HD Lace. I considered it the golden child in this video. But if you are interested to see how I installed this unit from start to finish, plus a little chit chat with me, please continue to watch. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. If you're new, hey, how you doing? My name is Tati. Don't forget to subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna use this Camille Rose moisture butter to push my hair back because I'm trying to avoid like any gel products right now because I'm in I'm on a mission when it comes to my hair. I'm just trying to take care of my hair a little bit more. I have a video coming up, you guys, that I know y'all probably are gonna be really excited about. It's a super easy protective style for summertime. It's a halfway up, halfway down, but it's like glueless. Super easy. I'm actually doing it with a V part wig, and this is basically what it's gonna look like. I know a few of you have been asking me how I achieved that look in my DMs, so I'm going to show you guys that in my upcoming video. So XRS Beauty is known for their really bomb lace quality. So it's like the next best thing comparing it to HD Lace. So it's like the golden child of HD Lace. And I love it. It's really deep parting on this lace. It's really flexible. So you will be able to see how well it looks on all complexions. So, you know, just do a little research or whatever. But like I told you guys, I ended up cutting this hair into like a little fringe moment. And I like to work on freshly washed hair when I'm doing my fringe. But what I'm going to do first is just remove my makeup around the perimeter. Take my Gossip Be Glue hairspray and spray this bad boy down. And this is when you can really tell if some lace is good or not. And as you can see, the new clear lace from XRS is just bomb. It melts right into your skin. So I'm so here for that. There is a little bit that I will have to remove later on in this video, just so it can look a little bit more realistic. You're going to be able to see once I take that elastic band off, like how much extra lace, a little bit of extra lace is on there. And I just need that to be gone so it can look, you know, more like my scalp vibes. tweezers and, and start plucking even though it doesn't need a lot of work you just want to pluck enough that it just gives realistic you can kind of see the difference already versus this and that so now we're getting into styling I'm gonna take about an inch off this actually came 16 inches. This is a 200% density unit, and this is 13 by 6. You guys have amazing parting space. The density is really nice throughout the hair, but I find that majority of it is in, in the frontal area. So I will have to go in and remove all of that extra density up there because I want everything to look super realistic. I didn't want to torture you guys with that process, so I just wanted to show you guys how I'm just creating my baby hairs. So when I do, this updo is going to look realistic, and the lace is not going to peak through. I always recommend you do some type of baby hairs, maybe even just on the side, like sideburn baby hairs versus like by your eyebrows, but something just to like ensure everything is just, you know, looking flawless and seamless. Another thing, when I told you that I will have to remove some extra lace, this is what I mean. You can really tell where I created my middle part that the lace is coming up a little bit, like curled up, looking a little crazy, a little suspect. So listen, if it's doing that, nine times out of 10, you do have to remove more lace. Don't play yourself. Like I said, I will be fixing that later on in the video and you will be seeing the night and day difference. But remember, practice makes progress, okay? So, you know, a little trial and error is no problem. I just wanted to show you guys that. And, you know, just look how flawless this looks, you guys. I'm so excited about this. I love working with XRS units because they just make everything so much better. So if you are looking for a really bomb frontal 
wig and you know you just don't want to do too much with it they come pre-plugged pre-bleached knots and everything looks super super flawless i'm gonna be curling my hair under and getting my hair into these like tight uh curls and then i'm gonna comb them out I'm going to add some layers, already a little bit layered before I started styling because of the previous install, but nothing too crazy. But I know y'all see me trying to chat with you guys. I lost the freaking audio for right here. I don't know what happened to it, but I was trying to get into my honestly never mind bag with y'all. How are we feeling about Drake dropping an album, sneaking an album on us? I'm so hyped. I love the album. If you guys don't know, I am a drake fan okay like i love me some drake and i just was super excited when i found out that this was coming out one two it was a dance album so i already knew it was something perfect for summertime so you can't knock this new new that drake has dropped on us like i know people are like going crazy saying it was trash or whatever but we're not even going to talk about those people more of the story i love the album i would love to know how you guys felt about the album my favorite song is jimmy cooks i love that he went down a whole different avenue with this album he tried different beats different pockets different melodies all of that he got into his jersey club bag if y'all don't know i was in jersey for about two years of my life i lost probably like 45 pounds <laughs> dancing to jersey club music because i was just a fiend i loved it i lived for it but i also wanted to talk to you guys about this new series that i'm getting into it's called keep sweet pray and obey it's on netflix it's a doc series and you guys it is freaking crazy i'm on episode one season one and i just need you guys to start watching it i don't know if y'all already hip about it if y'all got into it already but you must watch it because when i do a chit chat sit down it's gonna be girl talk it's gonna be you know just me and y'all doing makeup doing hair but we're gonna get into it because this is crazy anyway i think i was talking to you guys about um y'all know beyonce is dropping an album and i think i was touching on bryson tiller and diddy's song i love it it's gotta move on was so here for it i've been playing that non-stop it's already i think bryson tiller already had came out with that song and then J diddy just jumped on it and made it his own i think i was talking to you guys about something else but i don't remember so for right now you guys are just going to listen to some tunes if you haven't already subscribed turn on your post notifications and yeah i'll see you guys shortly I'm loving the layers. Got a new lip on, got the hair up. It's definitely a vibe. I do need to go in and just like close up this part. The density was there this time, it was 200 density, so keep that in mind. But overall, I really do like the quality of the hair. I do like the style that I decided to go with. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna give you guys a little spin, a little twirl. A little, hey, from the girl. Like, oh, oh, oh. She's layered, honey. Do you see these layers? Do y'all see all that layered goodness? If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one.